Hey guys, what's up? It's Jim and I'm going to show you how to make a roofing website, okay? And I'll tell you what, this is going to be super easy. I'm going to tell you about two different paths you can take, which one is the best for which situation, and we're going to do it all in just a couple of minutes. Now, listen, there's two kinds of people who might be watching this video. If you're a roofer and you're trying to figure this out, no problem. I'm going to show you how to get this done and you can always hit me up in the comments and I can help you out with getting the website or just hit me up at jim at resultspress.com if you have any questions okay now if you're a person who wants to create websites for roofers you're an agency or you want to become like a website agency then this will also be valuable for you because I'm going to show you some of the tools I use to get this done and some of the thinking behind making the website. So let's get going, guys. All right, I use something called Go High Level. And this software basically allows me to kind of sell my own websites as an agency. And one of the things that I like about it is that compared to like WordPress or something like that is instead of having to take like a website and make it by itself and then bolt on all these other services like being able to email people or having a phone number for the business or managing the clients and appointments and stuff like that. This tool has all of that and so I don't have to have five different softwares for myself. I don't have to hire five different services for the customer, the roofer, who's, I don't even know if I need all of this. So they really do need different aspects of it at different points in their business. And it's just easier if it's all in one system and you don't have to call them and subscribe them to something else each time that you need to get them rolling. And that's why I use this tool now. I've just gone into one of my sites that I have here that's already built up. Okay, it's called a sub account. And what I'm doing is I just go into sites and now this is where we can start talking about our different options, okay? Because we have two different types of websites we can make for a roofer. One is called a funnel, okay? And technically these both are gonna be like a funnel, but the funnel is a simpler website. It's usually just two or three pages. And the main point of the first page is just getting a person to share their phone number to get a free estimate for example or to fill out a form so you have probably are familiar with those kind of sites and it's super simple and then there's just some basic hey here's some information about us here's some reviews or whatever but the whole point is just get the person's contact information so that you can book them up for a, an appointment and a pre-screening and stuff like that now that's cool and that's great for a lot of businesses because they don't really want to show off a whole bunch of stuff and they don't have a whole lot of content to give you and all that. Alternatively, there are roofing businesses who have more stuff, more content that they've written and maybe they've got tons of pictures that they want to show and they want to have like an about us page and they want to have a few other things for representing their business, which is totally cool too. Those tend to be situations where, at least from my experience, you're transitioning a customer from an old website to a new website, right? And so they built something maybe 10 years ago, they've got all this cool information on the old site, and basically you're just kind of transitioning that stuff to the new site and maybe adding a bunch of new pictures and stuff like that, okay? That's where you want to have more of a website set up right, with multiple pages. And we'll do the same thing within the website setup where on the front page, we're really just trying to get people to contact us, and get into the funnel for becoming a lead, okay? So what I'm gonna show you though is how easy this is to get set up. And I don't want you to think that, hey, like as a roofer or as an agency person, I want you to feel like you should go out and get the website you want, but after years of doing lots of custom websites and moving into this transition to more funnel type sites and stuff like that that are a little less custom and a little more boilerplate, what I've learned is the focus of all of this is to help the roofers 
business. And that really revolves around getting leads and doing roofs. And so the customizations and all of that stuff matter not for all of that. It's not as important. And so I've been really comfortable moving into more of a template kind of situation. And so all I have to do here is click new website. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I've got tons of different templates set up in here for different businesses that I help. But if I just search on roof, then I've got some cool different options to look at here. Okay. So I'm going to choose this one. And now all we have to do is we can even keep some of these pictures, but I'll probably actually change some of these out depending on what we want to do. But for the sim simplicity of this video, I'm just showing you how to make a roofing website. That is what we'll stay focused on is just, hey, all we have to do with this tool is click boom continue and let's get this survey going okay i just tick this box that says that i'm gonna use the template okay and then that will add it now it doesn't look like it added but it's just because i need to click away from the page and then come back and there it is okay so now what you can see is we get a two-page site here all right and to edit these things, I just click on it, okay? And that's where we'll really start. Now, what we can do is go through and say, oh, I'm not so sure I want a pricing tab so we can remove those things and that sort of business. We can also change these pictures and um, dependable and sincere roofing, okay? And then this is where it's like easy to add a logo for this business and stuff like that. So it's really that simple to get a framework here that looks super and boom you've got a roofing website right like speed is money right time is money it's like money loves speed i mean there's so many different sayings about it but for this business having a situation where you're focused on getting tons of information from them and doing customizations and turning this into a four or six week project that doesn't really help out the roofing company. And so I believe like just getting something that they're happy with and getting it out there quickly is really the name of the game. And that's where I kind of like to be. So that's how I look at it. Now, probably a couple of these pictures we would want to switch out. And that's where something like Canva can come in really handy. So, for example, if I go over here to canva.com, we can just say, oh, let's make a, I don't know, let's just create a design, custom size, and let's just make it like four, no, 200 width, 400 tall. Just trying to think of a, size that's going to fit on our template here okay in some of these boxes right some of these are kind of skinny like these like this doesn't really do much for me for roofing okay so you can find there's so many websites where you can get free images like pixabay and pexels p-e-x-e-l-s and all right let me just go roofing just search up something in here. There we go. That looks pretty good. Maybe we'll move it a little bit so we can get this guy in there. Cool. Done. All right. Roof for one. Boom. All right. And then we can just download this and we can upload it right into the site. downloads folder perfect all right so i'll show you how easy this is all we have to do i click these images whatever you use to build your sites i mean it's it's usually pretty easy to change the images it's not a huge deal there all right so let's go downloads and root for one let me move myself out of the way there okay boom 
double click that and now we've got our own image in there that looks more like a roofing company okay so and all we're going to do is go through here and just update this text to match what the company does and we can honestly just get on zoom with the roofer and go through and just edit this text or that kind of thing so it's super easy to do obviously you want to be thinking about things like if they're going to just have five options here then maybe we can make it four options so that you only have four boxes like you want an even number there um, that's that kind of stuff but you know and if there's sections like ah we don't really want a whole bunch of numbers and we don't have a bunch of stats like that plow we just hover over it, get this green box, and I just hit delete, okay? That's how easy it is to make some updates here. If they got some pictures of the people, or you can just eliminate the pictures and say their names and maybe how long they've been with the business, that stuff, and then we're off and running, right, with a website here. Now, there's some other things we can do inside of this particular tool, so this is the kind of stuff that I offer customers is we can give them a business phone number, okay? It's a minimal charge, and I just roll that all into one monthly fee for the roofer. Like, I don't build them separately for 10 different things. I just adjust the price based on what they're using. And honestly, there's not a lot of science behind it. I just try to make it fit the business. I'm not trying to become a zillionaire off of them. I just want it to make sense for their business and help them out, right? That's how I make a roofing website. And yeah, pricing plans. A lot of roofers really don't put pricing plans on there. So if they got testimonials, that's cool. And then you back to the logo and making a couple of edits. Now, all we have to do is save this, okay? You're gonna put the name of roofer company, okay, up there and maybe write a description and put a couple keywords in update metadata save okay and that really gets us started here now we've got a button and this can be something that leads to a phone call now this is where we got to work with the roofer and just figure out do they want phone calls from this website do they want people to fill out a form those kinds of things so you just sort that out What's the best way for them to get leads? Is it by email, so people should fill out a form in that case? Or is it better to have people calling and sending that straight to a phone number or whatever? So I do these marketing phone numbers where we can just forward it right their business, but then there's some cool features we can do like texting with people who fill out the, or who click this button and stuff as well. Or if they call and can't reach someone, then we can text them right back to say, hey, how can we help you? And that sort of thing. So I'll keep it quick and I'll stop there, guys. That's how I make a roofing website. It's super easy. And I keep it really focused on how can we help the business, not on how much time we're going to spend on design and stuff like that. All right. So that's what that looks like. Now let's pop out of here. Okay, and I'm just gonna show you really fast what a funnel page would look like. Okay, boom, we'll just hit the back arrow there. Now, that's a website funnel. All we have to do is click the green button, go to template, search it up. Okay, there's tons of different funnel options in here. Roofing quote, I don't really love that one as much what's the one that i like here leads continue boom get it i like doing this stuff i love giving people websites getting them out on the internet there's so much possibilities for doing business Okay, that's this one looks a lot the same. So what we chose there in the funnels, so that's fine. Okay, get started. Now what's going to happen here is when people click this button, okay, it's going to open a pop-up. And what that does is 
Okay, it just opens up this little thing when they click the button. Now we just have to add a form here, and that's super easy to do, okay? So let's just close this. We'll go out of here, and I just go to Form Builder. Okay, so here's a form. Okay, $100 voucher. Okay, I'm all, I'm, I'm all right with that. Not too sure about this background. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, how about that? Save form. Proceed. Okay, so now we should be able to go back to our funnel. Go in here. Open things up. Go to pop-up. Okay, and I'm just going to click there. Oops. Oh, this is wanting a survey. Okay, well, that's our problem. We don't have a survey. Add element. So this is how we just add elements in here. It's super easy. Okay, and there's our form. Boom. Okay, and what we can do here, let me just move myself out of the way there. Apologies for that. We can add a headline here. Okay, and then I'm just going to up arrow it. Okay, enter your details below. Okay, and then that will set these folks up to go right into our system. Okay. I'm just writing something in there for the second, for the moment. Okay, but then what's going to happen is when people click that button and fill out that form, they're going to go right over here into your contacts. Okay, and then you can follow up with them. You can also build automations that follow up with these folks automatically and stuff like that, either via text message or via email or that kind of stuff. So that's how the two options work, either a funnel or a website. You can't really go wrong either way, but I think you just have to choose between how much content you want and does a website make sense, more sense or does a funnel make more sense. In both cases, you really want to focus in on just getting the roofer leads. So I hope that helps. Let me know in the comments if you got any questions. If this was good for you, then hit the thumbs up for me. And if you're not a subscriber, I'd love to have you join. Just hit that subscribe button and we will see you next time.